top of Little Cottonwood Canyon. Now, we are expecting the opening of this road around 8 a.m. We understand it has been delayed as they continue to do some avalanche control measures, they say, through at least 8.30. A long line of cars already waiting to head up the canyon. We'll keep you up to date on this closure here at Good Day, Utah. And there's Brett's car right there. <laughs> An update from <laughs> Salt Lake Police. They've confirmed all four suspects in a deadly shooting near the South Salt Lake Winco parking lot. That was back in May. Well, those people have now been arrested. Police apprehended 27-year-old Damian Coleman soon after the shooting that killed 26-year-old Romero Williams. The other three remained at large until November when 21-year-old Stefan Coleman turned himself into the Salt Lake County Jail. Earlier this month, U.S. Marshals found 30-year-old Terrell Jones and 24-year-old McKenna Cummins in Oakland, California. They'll be extradited back to Utah. Pandemic restrictions on asylum, known as Title 42, will remain in place for now at least. The Supreme Court ruled to keep the policy in place until the case can be heard in February. It was scheduled to be lifted December 21st, but a last-minute stay kept that from happening. The Supreme Court will hear oral arguments in February on the case, with a ruling expected later in the spring. It's a blow to the Biden administration politically, but it also buys them some time. The White House is sort of like the, the, the student who doesn't turn it, its term paper in on time, and now it's gotten an extension to try to come up with a more conservative 